Hey guys, Agu Ninja here, and welcome back to another episode of Stone Block 3. As you can see, we figured out a way to get up under our water wheels, which has enabled us to add one more water block. So instead of 192 SU per water wheel, we now can create 256 SU. This gives us a total output of 59,392 SU, if we decide to use any of it. <laughs> but for today's episode, we're gonna jump right back into our major build. I wanna complete the core part of that, as well as get moved over into this area, all in today's episode. So we got a lot to do, so we better go get started. We've made a lot of progress today. I'm really happy with where we're at. I'm getting kind of low on some of our building blocks, so we probably won't do too much more building today. I want to try to balance going forward between building and adding to our build. So what we're going to work on now is getting a boiler from Create set up in one of our corners, which now that we're speaking about corners, I didn't build this area large enough. <laughs> We didn't really leave a lot of room for buildings. The idea was a nine by 15 area, four of them, but when you add in this little decorative design here, it kind of cuts into our nine area. So we may end up making this a little bit bigger, but we'll do that as we add areas to this build. So we've got plenty of area to add all kinds of machines and contraptions. The core design of the interior is for the most part done. There are some things that I've been changing here and there. I'm sure you notice that even from the time lapse. Like we cut these columns down one block and I think that looks nicer instead of going all the way up to the wood. I'm also not 100% on all of the block choices. Like there's a whole lot of tough. And even though it's different variations of tough, it might be a bit too much. <laughs> I'm pretty new to blending blocks and using different blocks. So we may make a few more changes. I don't know how about I feel about these stairs. They're a really strong contrast against the tough, but I really like our floor choice and the ceiling is okay. 
and I like our column design. So we'll just continue to tweak the build a little bit and change blocks. But now that we have blocks in place, it's really easy to exchange them using our exchanger. So we're slowly getting there and we're to the point where we can start moving things in. So let's get started on getting everything together we need for a very large boiler setup. Okay, so I think I got most of the components together that we're gonna need. We'll probably need to craft a few things here and there. But for the most part, I think I've got everything crafted we need. And you can kind of see the area we've cleared out to start working on this. Later in between episodes, I'll work on cleaning out a little bit more as well as dressing it up. But for today, we're just gonna focus on building our boiler. And I've been looking online and watching a few videos. So this is the first time I've put together one of these. So hopefully, the design that I'm going for works. <laughs> so we're gonna sit down our blaze burners first. And I was using this cobble to kind of mark where the boiler is gonna go. And then we should be up, oh wait, what did I, <laughs> I just put the cobble back. Uh, let's move that again and put our other blaze burners down. Now that we have our blaze burners, it down we should be able to put just for now we'll put a piece of cobble right there uh, I have a depot which we're gonna put right here and then on top of this piece of cobble we're gonna put a mechanical arm uh, but before we do that I think we need to shift right click there so take items from depot and then we should be able to just right click yes and this is telling it to deposit items into the blaze burners so you shift right click to do the pickup and just right click to do the drop off. So now we should be able to stick this mechanical arm. Oop, that is not where we want to put it. So let's look at this again. Shift, right click, there we go. That's the maximum range it can reach out. So when we put it in the wrong spot, it did not like that. So let's try this again. There we go. When input and non outputs, that's exactly what we wanted to see. And to test that, I've got some blocks of coal. If you guys got some easy fuel recommendations, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm gonna experiment in between episodes with a few different things to see what we have access to uh, at this time. Eventually, I would like to set up a process for the blaze cakes, but we are not quite there yet. So we're gonna go ahead and stick those on there. And the arm does not have power. I just realized that. So let's take a moment to hook up some power. I know this isn't pretty, but we've uh, moved our stairs around. So we have a little access area here to work from the bottom if needed. And we've just ran a shaft over from our water wheels through a gearbox into our mechanical arm. So that should be able to operate now. So let's put our blocks of coal on here. And yes, you can see it moving. 
It will grab those. Oh, it's going to grab all of them. I only really wanted to do one. Will it drop them all into one or will it? Yes. Nope. It held all to them. I wonder what the internal inventory is for those. That's something to look up because I have... Oop, I just fell. <laughs> I have not played with Crate at all until this mod pack. So I am learning with you guys. And man, has it been a blast. I have so many plans for this area and some cool Create stuff. If we don't lag the world out. All right, so the next thing we need to do is set up some of these fluid tanks. And I believe they can go up nine for the regular one. Now, if you feed them blaze cakes, you can go up to 18. So I'm assuming it's half. So do those do damage if you get on them? No, they don't. So you can lay these out. And I know it's a little wonky, but the medical arm can actually go through the tank. Uh, but you know what? That's the best way to do it. So that's how we're going to do it. We need a little way to get up on there. So let's put this and cobble down. Now, I believe you can just like hop and click right here and it'll build another three by three. Yep. And it did not do that one. Why did it not do that one? Let's try that again. Hop and a hop. We should be able to take this all the way up to nine, which is 81 of these fluid tanks. And one more. Oh, I cannot hop that. So let's try this. Let's go out one with cobble and click. All right, sweet. Now we'll fall down. Boom. <laughs> and total capacity is 6,488,000 millibuckets. All right, so now we have these steam engines. And we originally built nine. And I meant to build 12. But you know how ninja is with math. <laughs> we messed that up a little bit. So we're going to shift click these on there. And I'm assuming that will go up one once we get 12 of these on there. And where did it put it? Uh, maybe it just hides it. So the size is max. Yeah, the size is max. Water is zero and heat is halfway. So we need to figure out a way to add some water. So I'm going to work on setting up a mechanism for feeding this water. And then we'll be able to hook this bad boy up and we should be generating a decent amount of SU. Now I haven't tested this setup, but we got us an infinite water cube over here, a three by three by three. We have put a create water pipe down into that or a fluid pipe as they call them. And we have this mechanical pump from create attached to it. And we have the direction set to pump out. Now you can change that with your wrench from create. And we have it fed with a cog and some shafts. And all we have to do is attach this and it should work. <laughs> we will find out. So that, oop, we fail. That should be running. So let's go up here and see if it's spinning. Uh, and we should be able to like right click these. And I believe it'll open a window. So it's moving. Oh, don't want to do that. So it is running. It might not be running. So, oh, we're, uh, we did and somehow we flipped that the wrong way. So let's see what it does now. There it goes. So it is pumping. It's just going to take it a while. Uh, we did grab some more fuel, but we're going to have, we're going to wait until the water goes all the way over to here. So man, I cannot wait to clean this area. I know this is not like Ninja to build like this, but we're really testing. So you're getting a little bit of behind the scenes build and test for once. I usually do all this off camera and then build it and make it look pretty for you guys. But I thought this would be a nice touch. So we're going to right click this so we can see the water going in. So the water should be going in now. If that attached doesn't seem to be going in. As you can see, we're finally getting water into our boiler. We're actually creating just a little bit of SU without adding any fuel. They must have like a, a really low heat level. And the problem was we didn't have enough pumps. I originally thought, well, maybe it was too tall, but I'm like, no, this should work. It's not max size because max size is double this 18 high, but we 
added additional pumps. So we've got two more pumps now, and we may add some more. Plus, we sped it up a little bit. And we could speed this up even more, which we're going to do. In between episodes, I'm going to make this all look really pretty. Like I said earlier, we're kind of doing things backwards. We're experimenting together, and then I'll clean it up in between episodes. So we are getting water. Not very much, but we are getting some. So I don't know if that's an indicator of pressure. So we may need to speed it up even more and or add some additional pumps to move our green bar up. But let's add some more fuel to the fire. <laughs> and we'll give that a moment. And the way we're gonna collect all of these steam engines is with these chain drives, which we crafted earlier. Now we should be able to just stick them down there like that. And then, and then stick a shaft. Nope, we want it the other direction, but I think we can change it with our wrench. Rotate, rotate it. There we go. Oh, I had it, and then it changed it. Do we do that here? Well, let's pop it off. We'll just replace it. I think I can get this right. So let's do angle I think that's the way we want it yeah so we want to angle it down to the corner all right those all look similar and we'll just do three for now to test and we're gonna connect these all together and that already is giving us 32,000 SU so we're we're creating about two-thirds the amount of all these water wheels with an extremely unoptimized <laughs> boiler I cannot wait to see what we can get this to. So what I'm going to work on now is maximizing this thing's potential and cleaning it up a little bit. And let's see what we can get this bad boy to. As you can see, we have bumped it up to 147,456 SU. I think that's pretty awesome, and I think that's the max this bad boy can do. It's full water, full size that it can handle without bumping the heat up. So it can go all the way up to level 18, but this is half size because we're not doing the cakes yet, which hopefully we'll figure out a way to automate that pretty soon. We've got 12 engines, so each engine's got 12,288 SU which is matching up with some similar builds that I found online. Oh, you know what? We are, we're missing three of our piston engines, but that's okay. We've got a kind of blocked and this is collecting it all. Uh, they do max out at 16,000. So the only reason we have 12 is really just for looks. I have a pretty cool design that we're gonna implement in between episodes. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. But you might notice that our gears are spinning at a ridiculous rate. And that's because we added this new item we haven't used before, which is a rotation speed controller. And we have it maxed out and it doesn't have a problem pushing that. But we'll probably tweak that. I don't know if it needs to be spinning that fast because it kind of looks ugly, but we're getting plenty of water now. <laughs> and as long as we keep it full of fuel, we've got plenty of SU. What we're gonna do now to wrap this episode up, we're gonna head back to our starter area. We've got a few items that I wanna craft so we can finish up the create quest line. So now that we're over at our workshop, I was taking a look at our quest book. We're actually not going to be able to finish our create quest line today because it's going to require us getting into this train stuff, which one, I'm not really ready to get into yet. And also because it requires a component we don't have the ability to craft yet. And that is this train casing, which requires a brass casing with a sturdy casing and we just don't have this stuff set up yet. We can get into that probably in the next episode. We'll just have to see where the flow of our next episode goes. I really want to get back to working on our boiler and stuff, but we do have some quests that we can complete and get the reward for. So let's go ahead and get the reward for our steam engine, a white laser lamp, our mechanical arm, which, ooh, that actually gave us a quest. And we have our redstone link. And if we go back and take a look, we got something from that quest. So we got this absorption hopper. So we'll go ahead and select the rewards for that. 
And we also got a quest for exploring, but we didn't actually do this one, so we're gonna wait on collecting that one. We got that one because we visited one of our buddy's setups. So we're gonna ignore that one till we actually do it. But for quest, I think that's about gonna wrap us up. I do have in my backpack though, let's go in here away from all those chickens. It is, they are so loud and annoying. I can hear them over in there too, so let's head over here. All right, whew, better. <laughs> I, I couldn't think. In our backpack, we have a whole bunch of loot chests that I've kind of forgotten about and just left in here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out and see what we get. And let's see, we already know what's in these, so we'll go ahead and open these. Kind of funny to have a reward chest that's just play. And then we'll start with the common loot crate. Music disc, another music disc, a timer, music disc, music disc, plate of shepherd's pie, yay, more food, a uh, kelp, a scoot, I'm not sure what that is, and another music disc, kelp, book. So yeah, just some pretty basic stuff. Now let's do our uncommon, traveler's boots, torch bow a torch bow does that do what i think it does i have torches oh that's cool it shoots torches <laughs> all right our rare loot crate horn coral and then epic another horn coral all right so we got some okay stuff uh, we'll go and put that up in just a moment i think what we're gonna do to wrap this episode up since we weren't able to do the crate content is i'm gonna head back over to our boiler and I'm going to work on cleaning it up and making it look a little nicer. So I think this area is coming along really nice. It took a little longer than I thought it would to clear this area out. And I was getting kind of uh, some deja vu of having to clear out stone from this previous area. <laughs> so we tackled a little bit and the different areas will start to come together as we add more blocks. I extended our floor design over into this room. I think it looks really nice. The only change I've made is I've added this cut trim site to the border of this copper casing. Now, I would like to use copper blocks, but I don't have any honey to keep it from oxidizing. So we went with this crim site. Definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think. It might be a bit strong. If you have any suggestions for other blocks for this area or our build in general, definitely let me know. I will take any feedback you guys into consideration because this build is going to evolve quite a bit. You can see I've added a little bit of our pathway that we've been doing here. And I still think that it's too much tough. So we'll probably change some of that. You may notice that our water and our little mechanical handler is not out, but everything is running and we have max water. That's because we moved it down below. We're gonna add another floor to this area, like a service area. And we're gonna clean it up and make it look real mechanical. And there's some cool create stuff we can do. I've got this stuff set up temporarily. 
it looks okay. It's functioning. And we will play around with this some more in between episodes as well as our design. I have some ideas for the second floor. And I may incorporate some of that in between episodes. We'll just have to see. But I think for today, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. As always, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. This is Agro Ninja, and that's a wrap.